Hey, hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by. I wanted to share my uh, thoughts and tips and lessons, things I've learned in doing my own roof. Today is day, I believe it's day seven since my supplies got, let's see, day six since I got my supplies and it has been a bumpy ride, but I'm happy to say I'm uh, the weather, check out that sunset, the weather has been cooperating. It's supposed to get cold, not tonight, but tomorrow night. And I am confident now that I'm gonna be able to finish up these edges. Um, maybe not get my termination bars on my parapets, but at least finish up. I just got all the base coat. I was a roll short, so um, I had to wait till I got the roll, but in any case, um, ready to do the parapet of this back edge. I already have the base coat. I'm ready with my cap coat. I have all but just a couple little areas of my base coat down and then uh, most of my cap sheets down as well. Some things I have learned. Definitely, um, in hindsight, I would have used a low low rise adhesive instead of the screws um, that said the screws are okay but getting the right size screws has been a tricky endeavor and um, again hindsight I probably would have spent more time figuring out that um, I kind of decided on this self adhesive system at the very last minute so I didn't um, even though I've done months and months and months of research on different kinds of roofing I wasn't sure this was the method I was using till like the last minute and then I saw that there was a very narrow window for weather which I am pushing the brink of I was hoping to be done like Friday or Saturday today is Monday um, of course I got things delivered last Tuesday so Friday or Saturday was quite optimistic for one human being I have had two different helpers come two different times for two or three hours each and that has been a big help and today my friend brought me a leaf blower and a heat gun and went and picked me up another roll of my um, base sheet and my cap sheet and so that's one tip I would say is if you can, get more than you need, keep it dry and safe so you can return it if you don't need it, but um, it kind of sucks to run out of base sheet when you're trying to get your cap sheets in. And uh, thankfully it was not windy today like it was yesterday. The forecast was for it to be windy and so I was in a great hurry, which was helpful because as you can see I have canalies in four spots. and. Um, so those are the low spots of this roof. Um, I put in a tapered insulation system. I had ponding before I started this, and so I tried to accommodate for that, or I did accommodate for that, but I really, because of the combination of that dippiness and the screws that I got, I kind of ended up doing a very imperfect job on this, um, on this tapered insulation. And so, again, in hindsight, I would, I would have, um, giving myself maybe a bigger window if possible. The other thing is it's not always possible, right? Sometimes you just have what you have as far as money and time and weather and you gotta do the best you can with what you got. So that's uh, my tip always in every endeavor is don't panic. Whatever happens, um, keep your head about you. Keep calm. Um, certainly had lots of moments of like, oh my goodness up here, but um, another thing is, so uh, the base coat is done around my openings, but the cap sheets aren't. And um, I have done my best to make it relatively waterproof. It would not stand up to a big storm, but it would stand up to a little sprinkle if it had to. I'm really hoping it doesn't sprinkle because then that's going to be extra cleaning and extra um, mastic that I'm going to have to use to get everything everything glued down. That said, um, in the end, a uh, heat gun, um, some plastic roofing cement, some uh, my termination bars with screws. Those are going to be my best friends for the finished detail tomorrow and or the next day. Um, depending on how the weather is tomorrow. I think I could finish this in one day if the weather was as nice as it was today. But the forecast is not for that to be the case, although it wasn't for the for it to be the case today. So um, 
I one of the great mistakes I made I say great as in like could have been really devastating was I forgot to remove the film under one of the half sheets um, because these are self adhesive there's there's sticky you know peel off peel and stick kind of stuff and I had already laid down the edges thankfully I kind of noticed it and um, because it was not so cold not really warm and I hadn't used the heat gun and I hadn't used the weight uh, roller on it yet I was able to pull it up now technically if you're able to pull it up it's probably not stuck enough so I am going to spend quite a bit of time tomorrow and or the next day uh, making sure that I really glue down all my edges and um, use metal bars with screws on my outer edges on the parapets and really put extra you know extra big patches around all my openings which that's another tip I will say is just just rough in the openings at first because they can take a lot of time and uh, you know first with your base sheet and then later with the cap sheet um, I did spend some time late last night into the dark doing my base sheets with some plastic cement and feel confident about those which is why I went ahead and brought my cap sheets this close now ideally it would be sealed up more because if it really rains it could really damage what I have down but it probably won't get through the roof again unless it was a big storm so um, fingers crossed it doesn't sprinkle at all if it does at least my all my work won't be ruined I can still move forward I'm gonna leave my self adhesive cap sheets up here they're a hundred bucks a roll and I was a little um, I am a little nervous to do that because if it freezes I'm not sure what will happen to them but I don't think it's gonna freeze tonight it might tomorrow and they're a hundred pounds each so I'd rather not take them down the ladder and up so I'm gonna leave these three rolls and some partial rolls up here and just cross my fingers that it doesn't rain or the wind doesn't pick up too much so let's see if I can recap don't panic rule number one in any endeavor and certainly in roofing um, just do the best you can and you know keep moving forward especially if like me or and like most roofers you're usually on a time window because you got to get stuff done while the weather is amicable because um, it's a huge difference working in the wind or the cold or the heat as opposed to working on a day like today which was overcast and 60 ish and like perfect roofing weather um, it wasn't as perfect for the stickiness of the self-adhesive but it would have been with a heat gun which again I'm gonna bring out here tomorrow and see see what I can do um, enjoy the process that's another tip I have um, bring a rag or paper towel for when you stick your hands in the plastic cement so you don't get it everywhere uh, it does really really help to have another set of hands for measuring and putting stuff up but it can be done if you're a superhuman like I am can be done with one person um, most of it like the getting the rolls up I'm not sure yeah I could have figured it out with a winch but it does take a lot longer sometimes with one person so um, helpful to have a helper if you can get one and it's gonna cost more than you think probably mine certainly has and I'm already pushed the brink of like the lowest estimates so that's probably the the tip I would end on is if you can hire a professional hire a professional I do a lot of stuff myself because I am a handy woman and I like learning things and I like sharing with you on YouTube but also um, I had to limit it my insurance company did give me some money but just for the parapets and I needed to do the whole roof because I've had ponding and leaking like I mentioned so I took that money and paid myself the hypothetical couple thousand dollars more that it might have cost me to have somebody else do of course and then I went at least a thousand dollars over budget getting the extra rolls and more adhesive and foam spray which uh, I will just a little note do not recommend using as much as I used I think it can be handy to use a little bit but I think I kind of overused it and paused a lot more work I did a good job of making things harder than they have to be that's a knack I have I, I'm it's a private joke because that's a knack most humans have uh, got messy hair so that's the sign of a good work day 
I welcome your questions and comments. I'm sure I will do a final video and try to sum up my comp, my my tips. <laughs> and so ask questions if you have them. But meanwhile, I'm just gonna uh, keep making daily videos to share. So um, it's now too dark. You can enjoy my neighbor's lights, which they put up today. It's uh, November 23rd, I believe. And the moon is out. There she is. As always, you can find lots of ways of supporting me and connecting with me in the description. And I wish you love, lightheartedness, peaceful conflict resolution, amazing adventures. Don't forget to play every day. Ciao for now.